as we move forward on some of our Docker content. When we're using Windows, it's going to be important to have WSL installed. If you don't know what WSL is, it's Windows Subsystem for Linux, and it allows you to run Linux applications on Windows as if they were a native application. So today I want to take you through the steps of how to set up WSL here on Windows so that you can take and experience Docker on your Windows system if you have chosen to use Windows. I have chosen to virtualize this, but all of these steps are going to be the same if you have a bare metal Windows computer. And that is probably the suggested way to run Windows. But for demonstration purposes, I find it better to actually virtualize this for this video. The first thing we're going to want to do to start the WSL install is to open PowerShell. To open PowerShell, we're going to go down here and we're going to click on the search box and we're going to start typing PowerShell. It should come up by the time you complete Power and you'll see it right here on the app. So let's click on this carrot icon and then we're going to move over to run as administrator. When PowerShell has started to load, it's going to ask you to approve this account or this application running as administrator. We can go ahead and say yes and PowerShell should open up and PowerShell should open up and look like so. And the first command we're going to enter is going to be WSL dash dash install. And then we'll press enter. Okay, so now that we've returned to the Windows command line prompt here, we can follow this direction. If I zoom out, we can see that it quite aggressively tells us twice that we need to reboot the computer. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to go ahead, close PowerShell. Okay, so now that we have restarted, we can go ahead and reopen PowerShell just like I've done here. And in order to display a list of distributions so we can install the distribution that we want of Linux, onto Windows so we can use it, we're going to need to enter the command WSL dash dash list space dash dash online. And we can press enter. This will print out a list of distributions that we can install. And we're going to use the command WSL dash dash install dash D and the name of the distribution. And I'm going to use Ubuntu. So the command should look like this. And we can go ahead and press enter at this point. It's going to pop up a screen asking us if this is what we want to do. And if we want to do it as administrator, we're going to go ahead and say yes. And the installation is going to happen. So in my experience, this takes about five minutes. So I'll be back with you when it's completed to show you the next steps. So the installation has finished. So the last thing we need to do before we take and start using WSL is we want to set the WSL version to as default. And we're going to do that with the command WSL dash dash set dash default dash version and then a space and the two. And we should be able to press enter at this point and we get a message telling us the operation completed successfully and we're using version 2 as default. Now to start using this Linux version, we can go ahead, open our start menu and we see WSL appears right here. We could also search for it like so and have it appear. I'm going to go ahead and open it by clicking on it. Okay, so if you have problems and WSL won't start when you try to start it after setting your distribution to default as level two, like I just showed you, go ahead and reissue the install command to install WSL in your distribution and restart your system. And then you should be able to load D WSL. So if everything has installed right and is working, you should now be able to launch WSL and launch the distribution that you installed. In order to launch this, we can go to start and it should appear right here as we installed Ubuntu. If it doesn't, you can search up top 
for Ubuntu and you can see it appears as an app. If it isn't appearing as an app, don't go ahead and launch anything, reinstall it again and it should work for you. Of course, you will need to do the, re the system restart process if you do that install. So go once you get that working and you get your app to appear, go ahead and go down to run as administrator and you should be able to launch your WSL instance of Ubuntu as I have here. When you start this for the first time, you're going to have to create a user account and password. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do here now that we have Ubuntu installed is to update and upgrade the software that is provided to you with Ubuntu. We're going to do so with a command that is apt update and we'll string it together with the upgrade command that involves two amper stamps and the apt upgrade command. And the last part of this command is the dash y command that answers yes to the question whether or not we want to update that. So now that we press enter, the upgrade and update of repositories will happen. I hope you enjoyed this video of installing WSL and how to get it up and running so you can start working with it here on Windows. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to get more content from Virtualize Everything, as well as to help Virtualize Everything continue to grow and fulfill its mission of teaching and learning. As always, have a good night.